When people ask me what I like the most about my Tesla, I tell them that it is electric, it is faster than other EVs, is really powerful, features regenerative braking, and has a long range. Varla Eagle One checks all those boxes for an electric scooter. It is insanely powerful, has a long range of over 40 miles, and can go over 40 miles per hour speed while providing regenerative braking feature. At around 80 pounds, this isn't the easiest scooter to carry around, but it goes to places that no other scooters can go. This is not a typical commuter scooter that we review in this channel. This is a high-end scooter that packs some of the most powerful components in the electric scooter industry. I did an initial impression and unboxing of this scooter a few months ago, which I'll put a link down below. Let's first go over the spec, then we'll further discuss about who this scooter is for, my likes, my dislikes, build quality, ride quality, and more. The Varla Eagle One packs dual 1000 watt motor, which means 2 kilowatt of instant nominal power available to you at all times. Those motors peak at 3.2 kilowatt total, which is a lot of power for an electric scooter. The insane amount of power is good for many cases, including hill climbing. If you live in an area with decent sized hills, a regular commuter scooter will not make it through the hill, or even if it does, it will significantly slow down. We tried the Barla Eagle one in many different hills, and this one for example had a significant grade and it went through the hill without losing any speed or power. These powerful motors allow the Varla Eagle One to reach speeds of 40 miles per hour. That is very comparable to higher end electric scooters like the Dual Turn Compact, which is priced at over $2,500. Varla Eagle One does come with a hefty price tag of currently $1,699 at the time of making this video. But if you compare it with other high performing electric scooters in the market, Varla Eagle One is actually priced much lower than those scooters. Typically, electric scooters with the spec of Varla Eagle One are priced over $2,000. The Varla Eagle One has a 52 volt, 18.2 amp hour lithium ion battery. We typically only see 36 to 48 volt batteries on these electric scooters. So that 52 volt power really allows this scooter to conquer any terrain and sufficiently provide power to those high performance motors. The 18.2 amp hour capacity is also significantly larger than the typical 6 to 14 amp hour we find on this scooter. The larger capacity allows the Varla Eagle One to travel up to 40 miles of range. The range varies by factors such as rider weight, wind, terrain, and temperature, and also if you are riding on single versus dual or echo versus turbo mode. Riding just in echo mode with single motor would give you the most amount of range. I was able to get anywhere from 30 to 35 miles in various speed modes during the winter time and I hope to get more range in the summer. That is another reason this scooter is perfect for commuting as it doesn't require frequent charging. Speaking of charging, it comes with dual charging port, allowing you to double the charging speed by connecting two chargers at the same time. The Varla Eagle One has 10 inch by 3 inches pneumatic tires. This all-terrain air tires provide excellent traction and much better than solid tires. I have the standard road tires on mine and this setup sufficiently allows you to take this scooter off-roading. However, it also can be fitted with off-road tires that Varla sells, especially for off-roading experience. Even with the regular tires, you can take the Varla Eagle One on dirt road, sand, gravel, and more. Varla Eagle One has the best suspension out of all the other scooters we have tested in this channel, even better than the Cabo Mantis 10. This scooter features dual spring suspension, one in the back and one in the front, which combined with the swing arm makes your ride amazingly smooth. You can also adjust these coils to go between a stiffer and softer suspension system. The great suspension capabilities allow you to easily go through cracks on the road, jump from the curves without breaking the scooter or even feeling those bumps. This scooter comes with dual hydraulic disc brakes and has an impressive stopping power. It is very critical to have good braking system on such a powerful scooter and Varla made sure safety was their first priority. These brakes are really sensitive and helps you bring the scooter to a complete stop very quickly even from high speeds. Since this scooter has a regenerative braking system, as soon as you press on the brake levers, the motor starts to slow down and put some of the charge back to the battery. You can completely turn this feature off if preferred through the settings menu. 
The Varla Eagle One has a durable frame made from 6061 aluminum forged alloy and is mostly made out of all metals. That is why the scooter is quite heavy. However, it does use a simple yet strong clamping mechanism to fold a scooter so you can take it on the back of your sedan or your truck. It can accommodate weight up to 330 pounds and is really stable on the road. This scooter features the biggest size deck I have ever tested on any scooters, spanning at 21.6 inches in length and 9.1 inches in width. This large deck is comparable with much higher priced electric scooters. To top it off, Varla added a dedicated heavy duty footrest. Typically this area is covered by wheels, so we see fenders instead of dedicated footrests. It comes with several options for deck tape and you can easily swap those out. It has an average type of headlight and I would highly recommend getting some high quality headlights for this scooter if you will be riding at night a lot. Varla actually sells some bright rechargeable headlights on their website. I think the tail lights are great, visible and bright enough to alert cars and pedestrians at night. The kickstand works but it's pretty flimsy. I hope they start making some heavy duty kickstand especially for such a heavy scooter. The handlebars are really wide, measuring 25.5 inches. These are some of the widest handlebars on any electric scooters currently available in the market. The biggest benefit of wide handlebars allows you to have an optimal control of the scooter. Since the scooter is really powerful, you'll want to be in control at all times. Shorter handlebars would make the scooter wobble, making an unpleasant and potentially unsafe riding experience. I do wish these handlebars folded though. The handlebar grips are ergonomic and really comfortable even for longer commutes. We have an index finger throttle integrated with a QS S4 display and an ignition key. I like the idea of ignition key to secure the scooter, but I don't like how I have to put the key while riding the scooter. I wish I could somehow unlock the scooter and put away the keys. Towards the left, it has a mechanical bell and buttons that control the echo turbo and single dual modes. The display shows critical scooter information such as speed, charge, trip information, and more. You can also change various settings by following the instructions on the manual or on the Varla's website. This scooter is really photogenic and I get compliments all the time while riding the scooter. I really love the black color with red metallic accents. It looks very rugged and just has a really good looking frame. You can also get an optional seat attachment for this scooter so you can ride it while sitting down. Varla also includes some free gifts with your orders including an inner tube, stickers, and a second charger. So based on everything I have said here, this scooter is amazing but definitely not for everyone. If you are looking for a simple electric scooter with 10 to 15 miles of range, nothing fancy, just need one for the city commute, I'd probably go with more affordable entry level scooters. We have reviewed plenty of those in our channel. However, if you have outpaced your slower electric scooters and want something more durable, stable, fun, and packed with performance, I think Varla Eagle One is the way to go. Even though this scooter had insane amount of power, I personally feel safer riding it than riding my low power scooters. If you have a longer commute, bumpy roads, need to pass through hills, or just want to get your destination quicker, Varla Eagle One checks all those boxes. What do you all think about this electric scooter? please let me know in the comment section below. If you thought this video was good, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more electric scooter reviews in the future. That is it for today's video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next video.